What's going on people? How you doing? My name is Dr. Sami Bayer. Please welcome back to my channel. How narcissists triangulate. That is the title of today's episode. Triangulation is where a narcissist plays two or more people off against each other. The narcissist pulls the strings and uh, reap the benefits. A classic example is where a narcissist deliberately starts trouble between two people so that they fall out. Then the narcissist acts as confident to both and gains several advantages. The benefits of triangulation are usually control, attention, and favors. They also get a kick out of it. Over the years, I've noticed narcissists use many triangulation methods. If you learn about them, you can better see them coming and understand what they're up to. So I'm going to give you a few triangulation methods in this video that I've noticed, plus some tactics to help you neutralize them. So one triangulation method is they praise another person. A narcissist may praise someone for traits they want to encourage in you. They may, for example, heap lavish praise to you about how generous someone is. This is intended to make you feel jealous and compete with the other person's generosity. And of course, there's only one winner. Narcissists also praise others as a way of indirectly putting you down. My friend is probably the most intelligent person I know. Implying that you, you're not intelligent. But it's difficult to call them out. They will deny it, arguing they can praise their friend if they want to. And probably accuse you of being crazy and jealous. So it's usually best to let this slide and act like nothing's been said. Then you don't feed their provocative behavior because they want a reaction. And of course, they want your generosity. So don't react and don't be more generous than you otherwise would be. The other method of triangulation is criticize another person. Narcissists sometimes criticize others as a way of indirectly criticizing you. For example, they might criticize a friend who has a low paying job, knowing you earn a similar amount. The narcissist will say, he needs to get himself a decent career. So this isn't clumsiness or a slip of the tongue. The narcissist knows what they're doing. And of course, it's easy to deny they were having a pop at you. Narcissists also criticize others to pressure you into doing things. For instance, they may want to borrow some money. Instead of asking you, they criticize a friend to you for not lending them money. And they'll go to town about how horrible they are for not helping a friend in need. So this pressures you to offer. Although they haven't said anything nasty, they've implied bad things if you don't conform. This is a sneaky way of forcing you to do their bidding. But again, it's difficult to call them out on it. So in this situation, I'll advise you to act like you haven't noticed their hint. And you should not offer to do what they hinted at. So this doesn't usually cause a problem. The other method that a narcissist will use to triangulate is they triangulate you with themselves. Narcissists are so sneaky. They triangulate you with themselves. Maybe this technically isn't triangulation, but it's, it is. For me, it is triangulation. That's why I'm including it in this video. I've had narcissists criticize themselves in a way that puts others down. 
Let me give you an example. A narcissist might call themselves a real loser because they've been single three months. Knowing full well you've been single for maybe longer, six months probably, one year. So they're calling themselves that, but really indirectly calling you. So what do they get out of this? The narcissist will feel powerful for putting you down. Plus they chip away at your self-esteem. And this makes you more controllable in the future. Someone low in self-esteem is more likely to put up with their nonsense. Again, I would advise you to act like you haven't noticed this put down. And everything is usually fine. Just roll your eyes in your mind and don't take it personally. The other method that narcissists use to triangulate is they encourage bullying. Another triangulation tactic is to encourage bullying from the narcissist. They do that. So this is usually the tactic of more overt narcissists. So in a group situation, the narcissist may decide to get at someone for some reason. Perhaps punishment for not doing as they told you. Or because they feel threatened by them, by, by, by those people that they're bullying. So the narcissist, they bully this person in front of everybody. Then encourage someone to join in. And that person is put on the spot. They might not want to bully. But they know if they don't, it could be them next. Oh, you're just as bad as them, are you? Some people end up joining in the bullying for an easy life. Okay, then cleverly, the narcissist takes a back seat and watches the drum unfold. After a few minutes, it's forgotten how it started. And the narcissist is out of the picture, as if they had nothing to do with it. So a good way out of this situation is to crack some sort of a joke. Then change the subject, preferably to a subject you know the narcissist wants to talk about. And that subject is themselves. That way you're not coerced into joining the bullying. Ha! Ah, we don't want to upset the poor soul. Anyway, tell me about that book you're writing. That's an example of what you can tell the narcissist. You want them to talk about their book and what they're doing. So this dissipates the awkward moment. But the narcissist doesn't feel slighted either. So they won't get angry. The other method that a narcissist used to triangulate is exaggerate a fault. A narcissist may feel threatened by two people's friendship. They might suspect one of them is on, the, is on to them. Or they might want to be that person's sole friend. So they attempt to split them up. One tactic I've seen is the narcissist finding a fault in the person. And makes it out to be worse than it really is. For example, they might have a bad habit of forgetting to respond to messages. A flaw, yes, but not a deal breaker for friendship. So the narcissist leaps onto this and complains about it all the time. For weeks and months, they repeatedly complain about this fault, using provocative and emotive language. The intention is to make you angry. I can't believe they gave you the cold shoulder again, and it was your birthday last week. They're so disrespectful. I don't know why you take it. That's an example of what a narcissist will try to tell you. All right? They exaggerate somebody's mistake. So, the narcissist, they make a mountain out of a molehill and try to persuade you a minor fault is worth falling out over. And because they repeat their message long and hard, using emotive language, it can be convincing. Just remember to keep things in perspective. Nod and say some quick, like, yep, they'd forget their head if it wasn't screwed on. That way you're not disrespecting the narcissist by dis but by you're not disrespecting the narcissist by disagreeing with them, but you're not calling your other friend either. The other method narcissists use to triangulate is they complain of injustice. A narcissist may find someone who is compliant and who often sides with them, then bends their ear about some injustice, wind them up and watch them go. The injustice may be real, made up or exaggerated. So the narcissist complains about how bad someone has treated them, then sits back and watches them fight their battle for them. For instance, they may want their partner to buy them a new car, but they say they can't afford one right now. So the narcissist complains to their partner's mother 
about them refusing to buy them a car and how unfair it is. They usually make it sound worse than it is. Then they sit back and watch their partner's mother do the dirty work for them. So if a narcissist complains to you about some injustice, then li just listen politely and agree with them if necessary. But don't fight their battles for them. It's likely you're being betted. The other method that narcissists use to triangulate is introduce a friend. So during a romantic relationship, a narcissist might make friends with someone who fancies them. This serves a few purposes. They hint to them that things aren't going well in your relationship. And they give subtle signals that they might be romantically interested in them. So this often gets them favors, such as drinks, meals out, gifts, etc. And of course, attention. And if you say anything, the narcissist reveals in you being jealous and protests that they are allowed to have friends. Narcissists like you being jealous. It proves they matter. Plus they feel powerful and in control, making you feel this way. And it keeps you on your toes. The narcissist uses this friend as a subtle threat to you, showing you they have options. So you'd better do as you're told and treat them like royalty. They're also looking for a reaction. They want you to be jealous. Then they can use your supposed jealous nature as an excuse for anything they do wrong. So don't react if you can help it. So how narcissists triangulate? They use the golden child. Narcissist parents often have a golden child. This is a child that can do no wrong. They get the best gifts, accolades, and attention. But this comes at a price. The golden child is expected to side with the narcissist parent on everything. And they're often sent out to snoop on their siblings. The golden child doesn't want to lose their golden status, so they do as they're told. The narcissist parent dangles the golden carrot to the rest of their children, enticing them to compete. Maybe you can be my next golden child. So this creates a divide and conquer situation. So the siblings fight amongst themselves for golden status. And the narcissist parent pulls the strings. So if you're in this position, you need to create unity amongst your siblings. That way you all benefit as you no longer dance to your parents' tune. So get together and talk about what they're up to. And learn not to take the bet and fight amongst yourselves. So my final thoughts. Narcissists love a good triangulation. They create situations that are confusing, complicated, and filled with conflict. So in the midst of the storm, they sneakily control things, and they play people against each other, and it's all for their benefit. Narcissists gain favors, adoration, and attention, plus the thrill of pulling strings and creating conflicts. So it's difficult to win with a narcissist. If you confront them, they act like it's you that's at fault, and they never admit what they're up to. So the best... Tactic is usually to not react emotionally. Then it doesn't feed their need for attention and drama. And they often grow bored and stop doing it. Thank you for watching this video. Please, if you like it, click on that like button. Drop your comment. Say something on the comment section. Share this video widely to all those who may need it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you've not done so. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Choose the all option. That's the only way you get notified each time I upload a new video. Knowledge is power. Information is power. Learning is the superpower. I love you all to the moon and back. God bless you. Catch you later in the next video.